You talked about Carol being nurturing with you and helping you certainly and kind of protecting you, it sounds like. Was it intimidating working with her at all or was, uh, was it an easy thing to, to get into? I, not intimidating. I mean, I certainly put her on a pedestal because she's, you know, of everything she did for me. But I, she, no, she was not intimidating at all. She was so giving. Um, and I remember the older people on her show used to say to me, this, this is not the way showbiz is. You, this ain't it, kid. You wait till you grow up and get out into the real world of showbiz, because this ain't it. And I remember Harvey telling me stories about working with other performers that, that he would say, you know, if the joke was funny, they would rewrite the sketch so that the star would get the joke. Carol, on the other hand, if you were doing something funny and she wasn't in it, she'd be the first person out of her dressing room on the sidelines, leading the laughter, leading the applause, encouraging you to be the best that you could be. And, and I feel that I learned that from you. You are, because she used to say, you're only as good as the people around you. And if this show is a hit, I'll get all the credit. And if the show flops, I will take all the credit. So she believed in surrounding yourself with the best. And then fly, baby, go. That's a great lesson. Um, anything else um, that, you, that you learned from Carol? Just, I think, how to treat everybody with respect and how to have fun. That show business should be fun. If you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. And uh, I learned that much later in my career, that, um, that if you're not having a good time, you're doing it wrong.